Hello off the chest, this poem is called Child's Play. I've been wondering recently how to live in these times. How to wake up every morning, yawn, stretch my arms out high above me, read my wife's words, know she loves me, drink a cup of Yorkshire gold and trembling step into the cold December weather, feeling ever surer daily that the human race is failing. Falling further into farce with every callous law we pass, past generations clinging on to remnants of a life long gone. The sentimental mawkish notions, casting votes on pure emotion, fixated on a fading memory of a world that never was. I'm 35, soon 36, and all my friends are having kids. I want the same. I always did. Now it's not that simple. How the fuck do I explain to my infant son or daughter that their world will swiftly alter, disappear beneath the water, that ice will crack and melt away and smoke will haze the light of day? Will sleepwalk slowly, block, delay, obstruct, ignore, resist, and they, the lives will fling into the fray. The little ones will have no say in whether they exist or stay an impulse in their parents' brains, a way for us to feel okay, allay our existential fears are questioning why we are here. They'll suffer for our quest for purpose, live so we can feel less worthless, birthed into a mirthless circus, heirs to their demise. I lie awake until the sky turns light more often now, my sleepless nights spent turning circles in my mind. I fight to find a reason why, to justify my right to bring about a life. The future's rife with dark unknowns, it's hard to picture, let alone be sure you'll make yourself a home. Find love, have children or your own, amidst the mess we've handed over. Know the man you call your father chose to have you, even after coming to the sad conclusion that the need for family fusion exceeds the need to heed delusion. To concede that our intrusion leads to planet-wide pollution, endless issues, few solutions. You, son, were debated. Long considered, hesitated, your mother and I waited, put you off, procrastinated. Daughter, you were questioned too. Delayed you stayed unmade until we knew we'd thought things through. Enough to know that come what may, you'll find a way. A kinder way. A smarter, more benign way. Reverse the worst of our mistakes, no child's play. But you'll find a way. Defy the odds, define a day in which you'll live and thrive and be a brighter shade of everything we tried to be. Inside of me, despite the ever-present odd anxiety, I'm starting to see why our flawed society requires we provide it with austerity. A better, more compassionate variety, defiantly opposed to impropriety, a version 2.0 of all that we aspired to be, but failed to be, regrettably. Dear progeny, we did the best we could with what they handed us. It all came far too hard and fast, backhanded us. Left us reeling, struck us like a London bus. A double-decker slap, a smoking blunderbuss. Awoke us from our dreamy childhood wanderlust. Tugged and pulled the rug right out from under us. You come from us. You'll have your mother's smile, her loving eyes. Her easy sense of style and how she tries to always see the best in every person, to understand the ways the world has hurt them, to know that they are more than just their burden. You'll have your mother's smile, her loving eyes. From me, you'll get a love of written word, the flecks of red and orange in my hair, a loyalty that cannot be deterred my temperament and tendency to swear. Upon all this, these firm and sure foundations, you'll build a better life than we have lived. For you and all your future generations, please teach them to transcend us and forgive.